I've been able to attend many fly-ins. Today I'm actually going to fly into a fly-in. Me and my friend Grant, we're going to be flying the Kodiak to the Peter O'Knight AOPA fly-in, Tampa, Florida. And along with Grant, we got a special guest on board, VIP, Papa Canivo. Ready to go? Ready to go. Watching the NG rise up. There you go, it's stabilized, we'll go introduce the low idle. Now we're watching the NG and the ITT. Toss system test, okay. All right, we're clear to taxi here, guys. I'd like to welcome everybody on board. We're on board the Kodiak today with Grant. I got Papa Canivo in the back. Or in the ride. <laughs> Gonna be going over to the AOPA flying at Peter O'Knight in Tampa, Florida here. And we're taxiing on the inner taxiway here and we're told to exit at Foxtrot 1, which is right here to the right. Uh, 1428, contact ground point 7. 1428. We're gonna be taking off at one right. What we have to deal with today is they, uh, they give you a packet of all the procedures to enter this, enter this fly-in and which I've studied. So we're gonna go over to Kidney Lake and then we're gonna continue down to the Turnpike, or actually a highway, Interstate 75, and then over by a chemical uh, chemical plant and then on over down into Peter O'Knight. All right, this is one right. We'll go over to tower frequency here, monitor it. United 1062 holding short, runway one right, ready for departure. United 1062, Tampa Tower, hold short, one right, travel departure, parallel. Hold short, United 1062. It's United right over there in front of us, I just checked on. Tampa Tower, good morning, Kodiak, November 1, Iron 3, Kiel, Quebec, holding short, one right. Uh, 913, Quebec, Tampa, 913, Kiel, Quebec, Tampa Tower, Roger. Are you going to go up to Lake Kidney, up to the northeast, and then back to the south, or are you just going to go direct Pier and not do the procedures? Let me know what you're going to do. Yeah, we're going to go up to Lake Kidney, and then uh, proceed on down south uh, to the uh, chemical plant, and then inbound to uh, Pier and I, three kilo to Quebec. Okay, do you want to talk to us for that, or no? Uh, sure, I would, I would like that, if that's right with you. All right, I got traffic stop down to the King Air at 600 feet near Lake Kidney, stand by, hold short. Holding short of one right, three kilo Quebec. About 1598 Tampa, turn right. So I opted to just talk to him. Right turn, grab the way we uh, have an extra set of eyes looking out for what we're doing. We actually have uh, a route all programmed into for flight for the procedures to get into uh, the fly in uh, for the VFR procedures. So I have that all programmed so we can follow right along on that. So Perfect. There's no guesswork. <laughs> Number three, Kilo Quebec, Tampa Tower, runway one right, flight heading 025 for now. Runway one right, clear for takeoff, wind 050 at Niner. Clear for takeoff, one right, we'll fly 025 on the heading. November 193, Kilo Quebec, thanks. All right, we are clear for takeoff. I'll fly 025 on the heading. This is one right. Final's clear. At Tampa Tower. Down the runway. Chancellor pulling for Julie Keeler, left base, one right. Line up on center line here. Four one four, Julie Keeler, Tampa Tower, runway one. And here right. we go. Ready to go, Grant? Clear to there land. Here we go. Zero five zero at Niner. Clear land, one right. Four Julie Keeler. Easy uh, power up for takeoff power. Okay. That is set. And right, we're going to rotate at fifty five knots. This is a basically showing how, how fast this airplane can get off the ground. There we go. That was like no takeoff roll at all. 
Kodiak is very good at short takeoff. Traffic, 11 o'clock. Same altitude, less than one mile. That's a no fact. Traffic, 10 o'clock. Same altitude, less than one mile. This airplane is really good at short takeoff. Traffic, and 10 o'clock. Same altitude, zero miles. If that's picking Traffic, up that no other bearing. Other altitude not available. Country. Less than one mile. Traffic, one o'clock. Altitude not available. Zero miles. The way that's picking up is that other airline that just took off to the parallel with us. All right, we've got the flaps coming up, selected and indicating. We're going to pull the prop RPM back to 2,000 now. Three kilo cub back, heading zero six zero. Roger zero six zero on the heading. Three kilo back. And three kilo back. Contact departure one one nine or point nine or nineteen nine. Maintain at or below one thousand six hundred VFR. Nineteen nine will maintain VFR at or below one one thousand six hundred. Three kilo back. Good morning, November one nine or three kilo back with you one thousand two hundred. We're one nine or three kilo back. Tampa departure. I dent Tampa altimeter three zero zero eight. Roger, here's your flash, uh, 3 Kilo Quebec. We're 3 Kilo Quebec, rider contact, 3 miles northeast of Tampa, and I have uh, attorney spend free here in about 5 miles. Roger, thanks. 3 Kilo Quebec. Alright, we're going to go into heading mode. And we're going to turn the uh, autopilot on here. We're going to hold this altitude right here. Number 3 Kilo Quebec, stay altitude. Currently at 1,200 for 3 Kilo Quebec. Number 3 Kilo Quebec, Roger. Flighting of a 080, altitude to your discretion. Roger, 080, we're going to maintain uh, 1,000 feet for 3 Kilo Quebec. Number 3 Kilo Quebec, Roger. 3 Kilo Quebec, traffic 2 o'clock, 5 miles northbound at 1,600, is the King Air? Looking for the King Air, 3 Kilo Quebec. Alright, looking for that King Air over there. Maybe Grant can help me out there with that one. He's over there at 2 o'clock. Oh, I got him in sight. I'll get the King Air in sight, 3 Kilo Quebec. Number 3 Kilo Quebec, thanks. You've left the class Bravo airspace. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR, change advisory, green to approved today. Roger, Squawk VFR, thanks for your help, 3 Kilo Quebec. All right, so we put 1200 in the uh, transponder. Now we're going to go over to Kidney Lake. And after we get to Kidney Lake, then we're going to turn to a uh, 200 heading. And we're going to go fly down to the uh, I-75 bridge over the El Fifa River. <laughs> How do you call it? I don't know what they call it in the river. Actually, Grant's from this area. All right, 1892. We'll monitor that and uh, see what's going on at the airport. We got traffic at 12 o'clock there, Grant. I'm going to need it. you to help me keep a good eye out here. Got it. He's probably going into the flying too. How is it back there, Papa Kinevo? Is it comfortable? You should have gave him a camera. I got my camera. <laughs> a lot of pictures here. Beautiful back here. Oh, nice. Smooth ride. Oh, it's a beautiful airplane. All right, here we are. This is Kidney Lake, guys. And we will start a turn. Uh, two, zero, zero. And we're going to go 13 nautical miles down to I-75 and the bridge. And then we're going to turn over by a chemical line. Three, five, five, two, Charlie, three, and down, halfway five, down to I-75 and the three, river, five, two, and the bridge, we're going to contact the advisor. Zero, zero, eight, resume the navigation. Beautiful zero, zero, south eight, Florida morning air. Five, two, Charlie. All right, so we'll now start our turn to two, zero, zero. Before we get to Elafia River, we need to contact uh, uh, the uh, advisory. Traffic, two o'clock. Hi, right, one mile. Sam. Okay, we got him in sight. Thanks, Grant. This is my first time ever flying an airplane into a fly, and I go to all these flyings, and I always end up just like uh, driving in. But traffic, one o'clock. Hi, right, we got two miles. In sight. Looks like he's coming directly at us. Number five, two, drive uh, Hopefully, he just stays where he he's at. We stay where we're at. We'll be all right. Juliet, five, two, Charlie. What kind of airplane do you think that is, Grant? For now. Yeah. High wing uh, Cessna, looks like an RG. Looks like he's got a retractable gear. Got the power pulled way back here so we could just uh, enjoy this flight. We uh, wanted to get into uh, Peter O'Night last night, but uh, the airport closed early and we weren't able to make it in, so we landed later at night into Tampa Inter International. We stayed downtown, real nice place. I hey, uh, hope you guys are enjoying these Kodiak flight vlogs. 
It is a really cool airplane to fly. I love it. Be sure to go over to Stego1Canevo.com for uh, the different giveaways that we're giving away. We gave away a Bose A20. We're giving away a, uh, a four-flight scout ADS-B receiver. Receiver for your uh, four flight app because your traffic and weather. We're giving away that uh, here soon. So we'll go over to the website, be sure to check that out. Also, you'll be able to see the different meetup schedules uh, of where when I'm going and where I'm going. Uh, so our airport is over there at uh, 3 o'clock, 2 3 o'clock, but we still have to do all these procedures to get in. So we've got another 5.5 uh, miles till we get to the bridge, and then that's when we're going to turn right to the chemical plant and then inbound. And what he asked us to do is report. A, uh, entering a right downwind for runway four. This Kodiak is for sale over at Banyan uh, down in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, you can four, actually contact six, Grant. Uh, his information will be in the link below. To if you guys want to get a, a demo or a tour of this airplane, a really nice airplane. Great airplane. I'm obviously biased, but I and love it. I'll be sad if you sell it, but I know you'll be getting me a new one to fly around <laughs> if you do. Of course. I would like to. Uh, but I'll be very envious of whoever does buy this airplane. I, I love it myself. All right, here we go. We're coming up on the, uh, the bridge in the river right here. Now we're going to turn to the chemical plant, Number six, which is right off our right wing here. Squawk VFR, change to advisory for into the proof. Roger, Squawk and VFR, 6 x Charlie. Thanks. This is a great way to see Tampa. Oh, it doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. This is beautiful. Now the one thing we really have to be careful of, guys, uh, McDill Air Force Base is right up here at our 12 o'clock, if you can see it up there. Their airspace extends right almost up to where we're, the airport we're landing at, and we got to remain clear of that uh, uh, Air Force airspace. We do not want to get in trouble. Now we're getting ready to turn direct to the airport, which is right over there. I'm actually going to take the autopilot off. And I'm going to get configured here to prepare for landing. Right there is now our airport out there. Good view of the Tampa skyline. We'll put our first notch of flaps in here, get set up for this landing. Alright, so what he asked is for us to report uh, entering our midfield right down. I thought it would be busier. I guess we're getting in here early, Grant. We're right on time. And we'll go flaps all the way to full. Yeah, we're going to do a real tight uh, base to final here. We do not want to extend our downwind very far because of that airspace. November 418, Sierra Golf, contact Lakeland Tower, 124.5. The altitude, wind right now is crabbing us because it's uh, 20 knots off the right right now, so we're flying in a crab. My discretion, 41 Sierra. And number one, Sierra Golf, contact Lakeland Tower, 124.5. 124.5. All right, we are clear to land. Starter, uh, this is going to be a real tight uh, pattern here. We're starting our uh, entry into a right down one. You can see the airport and the marina all that out there. Number 467 Alpha, proceed to the Alcuni. Well, Grant's got a better view of the airport than I do. All right, there we go. We'll start our turn in now. Nice tight. Continue to the Alcuni, initial approach big, 467 Alpha. There's plenty of people there. 500. And we're on about a half mile right base. A lot of nice houses out here. And we're on a short final now for four. We're coming a little fast still, we'll slow it up. Looking good. All right, we will go back to flight idle. Just gonna hold the flare. Uh, how about that, Grant? Oh, perfect. Look at that, you can stop this thing in, in, no, in no space at all. All right, welcome to Peter O'Night, guys.
AOPA flying. Okay, we're just going to follow all our marshalers right into our park. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, it's been fun getting back in this Kodiak. Grant, that was an awesome flight. Thanks for flying, Steve. Amazing flight. It's cool to see the different VFR procedures to get into a fly-in. And we get we get VIP parking, I believe. Like the video, please smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Like a Papa Canivo, it was really fun to have you there back there in the back. I enjoyed it so much, I got a lot of pictures <laughs> here. I'll tell you, Grant, I like this plane, I might buy it from you. <laughs> I hope so, man. <laughs> we can fly it together. It's, it's a really fun airplane to fly. Hey, this is pretty cool, I've never taxied an airplane uh, through an event like this before. Be cool, are we clearing the right over there? All right. Got to make sure we don't clip anything. We don't want to wreck this nice, <laughs> this flight with the uh, taking out a pen. <laughs> I like this. I here. like this VIP parking thing. This is nice. As soon as he crosses those batons, we're done. Time to go have fun. Hey, Steve-O, welcome to the AOPA fly-in. Aside from my soul, I, 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 I,